What's up, y'all? It's Joey here. And today we're going to be talking about a little interesting topic that I feel like needs to be talked on a little bit. You know, and I need to shed some 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 of my, you know, light on it and just look into it. And um, it's kind of wild because as what I see and as they reported, Saquon Barkley did not reach a deal with the New York Giants to, you know, extend him. To give him a more secure contract, you know, because we all know the NFL, you know, it's hard to get those guaranteed contracts. So I believe Saquon was trying to get, you know, a little over the valley for the running back, which I think is okay and is fair, because what he did last year was phenomenal. You know, coming off an injury, he was on a prove it deal, and um. He basically replicated his rookie season, posting 295 attempts for 1,300 yards in 16 games, averaging 4.4 yards a damn carry. And I think it's bullshit that he can get the price he's asking for. He carried that team on their back. He literally dragged them to the damn playoffs. We could say Daniel Jones, but Daniel Jones isn't Daniel Jones without Saquon. We've seen it. Let's be real. Another thing I forgot to mention is that Ian Rappaport, um yesterday reported that the Giants had uh, offered Saquon Barley something near to the, you know, top of the market of the running backs, and I uh, he said that the deal didn't get worked out, which I, got me thinking. Like I think Saquon, you know, is trying to make a stand for the running backs, as in I think he won fifteen. Cause right now, if I if I'm my mat if I'm right, the top running back getting paid right now is Christian McCaffrey at 13 mil, right? So if Saquon wants to make a stand, I I fully understand why. Cause you know the running backs are being d- d- diminished right now, and it's sad how we we look at at least his resume. He was top four. Finishing out in the Russian leaders with 1,300 yards. He basically replicated his rookie season coming off of a almost, you know, a career type and the injury that could really set you back. That's your knee. It's hard to, you know, you need your knees to run, you know. So him doing that, putting the team on his back, it's crazy how, and he's been loyal. You know, he never said nothing about, about the organization. We know that organization, how the Giants work already. We ain't going to get too deep in that. We're probably going to make a video on that He's separately, right? But we know he stood by the, the organization, and this is how they treat you in the NFL, you know? He And I and I understand he probably should have took the – they probably was offering 12 mil a year, probably fully guaranteed. What I had would have took it? Two mil over the franchise tag? For a year, but now you get your fully guaranteed. I I probably would have took it, you know. But I think Saquon is trying to make a a statement here to show that the running backs is is also get part of the ownership whenever there's wins, cause the running back sets the tone in football. You know, if you don't run the ball that well, you're gonna have a hard time disguising your schemes and. You know, being effective on the field. You know, and one more other thing on the NFL that's kind of, you know, been irking me, making me stay away from it, is because the way the organizations treat the players, you know, is pretty much like modern slavery, if you look at it real deeply, you know, like a modern slave plantation. And, you know, the most of the contracts are not even fully guaranteed. They're now starting to in- implement that a little bit more, but mostly with the quarterbacks, some of the running backs, you know. But Saquon isn't the only running back that's, you know, struggling with that. Austin Eckler and a few others are dealing with that. And I'm going to run, you know, like a little audio of what he was saying during the Rich Heisen show. So let's get to it. If I'm looking at some of the backup receivers out here that are still making more than me, and that's that's going to piss me off, right? I'm I'm a little bit I'm like, okay, wait a minute. So you're telling me these people or the or the number three receiver is going to make more than me, and I'm the starter. I get more carries. I touch the ball more. I have more of an impact. It's 
causes us to question, right? We're going to fight for that. We're going to fight for, hey, I'm bringing more value to the team than this person. I think I should be compensated for that. It seems like it's about money, but it's about principle, right? It's about the principle of adding value to a team. It's going to take something, right? Whether some guy stands out again, whether it's this year, or some, you know, one of these guys holds out and gets a big contract, but we need that needle to move to push us over the edge. Because here's the deal. Mm-hmm. The salary cap goes up every single year, mm-hmm. yep. right? And so you see new highs in every single position. And I'm not saying we've had another Christian McCaffrey type guy who's going to even, you know, blow up the market and the running back and put a new high. We've had people that have been close for sure. Um, maybe you could justify that there has been, but there's no one even been close to those contracts. Not even close. After hearing that, you know, it's kind of hard to disagree with what he said. Like, you know, it's, it's a very rare commodity to see that another running back really burst through and raise the price on a running back. You know, Christian McCaffrey is sitting as the highest right now at 13 mil. You know, does he deserve it? Yeah, he's a great quarterback, but he finished eighth place out of the top 10 in the Russian leaders. And, of course, because he switched teams and all that. But come on, man. you telling me Saquon is not worth 14, 15 mil a year? Are you serious? He just put up 1,300 um, rushing yards, and I'm not even being a homer right now. You know, being on some real life shit, he was ranked four, and people said and was doubting that he wasn't going to be able to replicate nothing that he did in his career because of that injury. And he showed everybody what he could do. He played 16 games. Come on, what more can he do? But, you know, this is all I got. I got a couple more videos dropping today. Make sure to hit the like, share the video, and most importantly, subscribe, man. I'm out.